Welcome to Piano Video Lessons Year 1, Lesson 5. In this lesson, we're going to learn to play in the bass staff. We're going to learn to play the song Landmark Notes. But before we begin, let's learn about the notes. The best way to experience these lessons is on the website pianovideolessons.com. Just click up here on the information card if you're not already there, and you'll find the complete lesson index as well as all of these printable materials. So having a look here, we see a bass clef, and it's on a single line. And if you remember, we found the same thing with the treble clef, that it could be placed on a single line, and it, when we did, it helped us find a specific note. And that note was the note G. So we called this the G clef. The bass clef functions in the same way. It's really drawing our eye into this note, this line right here, in between these two dots and right on this big blob at the beginning of the bass clef. So when we play notes in the bass clef, we can use this line as one of our landmark notes. In the treble clef, we had the landmark note G. Now in the bass clef, we have the landmark note F. And the other name for the bass clef is the F clef. So if we look at this line that it's targeting right here, it's not the top line it's one line down. The clef touches the top line at the very top of its shape, but one line down is this line that's really being uh, drawn attention to. So this note is the, this line is the F line, and the F line has, which note on it? <laughs> you got it, it has the note F. So when we see a note in the bass clef that's on the second line down, it's the note bass F, because it's um, found by the bass clef. I can't talk and write at the same time. So this bass F is down two lines from the top and it's found just below middle C on the piano right here. And if you notice, it's interesting that here's the middle between the two. Treble G is up this far and bass F is down this far. So they're like mirrors of each other and if you were to put both of your thumbs on middle C you would find G and you would find F, those two landmark notes. So if we were to turn over and have a look at this a little bit more closely, we would see that this note is a, is a bass F and this note is not F because it's not on the second line down. This note is not F because it's on the wrong line and this note is F because it's on the second line down. Any time you see a note that's on the second line down, that note is F. So here we have, let me just change these back to one color, here we have F, not F, 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 F. And it would play like this, F, not F, 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 F. And remember when we were learning about the treble clef, how I said the middle C is in the middle of the treble staff and the bass staff, well that makes it really easy to find for the left hand. So I can draw this middle C also for my left hand just by drawing a ledger line above the bass staff. And if I wanted to point it down to the left hand, I could draw the stem pointing on the left in the downward direction. So here I have middle C for left hand. And this is my other landmark note. We know middle C for treble clef, and we know middle C now for bass clef. So let's play these notes through. I'll just take away this not, uh, not F note. Here I go, F, 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 C. And I'm using my left hand to play those because they're in the bottom staff. The bottom five lines is reserved for my left hand to read. All right, so let's have a look now back at our lesson materials. Now let's follow the instructions. It says color in the black keys. So just as we did in the lesson where we learned treble G, we're going to color in these black keys. And let's go ahead and label F and C on these piano keys, F and C. Awesome. Now we can see the bass clef on the bass staff, and let's go ahead and trace the F line. So right here, we're gonna trace over this second line down with, I've got a red marker. And then we can draw our own versions of these. So let's draw a middle C, and let's draw a bass F, just like that. Great. Now we can see them on the, pia on the piano keyboard diagram. We see middle C is here, and we see bass F is here. And let's make a check mark above treble G as well and label it since we know that one 
2. These are our landmark notes. Now we're going to find two flashcards that we didn't use before, and these ones are both in the base staff. This one is a ledger line above, and it's middle C, and this one is on the second line down, and it is base F. So I can place those on my answer board. Alright, so I have my board lined up the same as I did before with treble clef middle C and bass clef middle C placed above each other. And I've also placed my treble G and my middle C on my answer board. Now I have the note that's one line down in the bass staff. And that one matches with this one here, so I'm going to place it right over the F. And then I have this one, which matches the... Oh, I flipped them around. That's a treble clef middle C. This one matches the middle C in the bass clef. So I'm just going to place this one here. And I can see that these two line up with each other. Those are both the C that can play with either hand. And then I have a few notes here in between the F and the C, which I haven't learned yet. So let's go ahead and play those on the piano. We have F and C, switch, switching hands, C and G. Awesome! So we're now ready to play our first song using bass clef notes. Alright, so this song is called Landmark Notes, and if you look at the beginning, you'll see it starts on middle C in treble clef, and then it moves up to line 2 G, and it plays G, G, hold. Now, in the next box, we can see the left hand plays middle C, and then it plays a note that's on the second line down. Do you remember which note we just learned? Two lines down in the bass staff is the note bass clef F. And it has one quarter note and then one half note. So the rhythm is the same. Quarter, quarter, half note. Quarter, quarter, half note. But the notes we play are different. Let's try that much. I'm going to stop right here. So let's look and see which finger number we need to play. It's finger one on C, and I'll place it on the piano. I'm going to get left hand ready also, and my two thumbs are going to take turns playing this note, so they just have to find a way to fit there happily together. Starting with the right hand, C for quarter, G for quarter, G for half note. One, two. Now left, C for quarter, F for quarter, half note. All right, so that is the basic melody, and those are all of the notes that we're going to play in this whole entire piece. Uh, we just have to play them all now. So let's look at this next measure. In the first part of the piece, it took two measures to get our hands on all of those notes, but in this measure, we're going to go from C up to G and C down to F, all in that one measure. So it's going to go C, G, C, F. So that's C, G with the right hand, and C, F with the left hand. Let's try that on the piano. Both thumbs on C, relaxed hand position. C, G, C, F. I'll try that again. C, G, C, F. Excellent. Looking at the next measure, I have C, G, C for two. So that'll be C to finger five on G, back to C for two. Here I go. C, G, C for two. Now looking at the next measure, I'm going to have three G's and then a C. So like this, G, 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 C. And the next measure, three F's and a C. F, 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 C. And then two G's, two C's, and F for four. Let's try that. G, G, C, C, F, two, three, four. Very good. So we're going to play this again, and this time we're not going to stop and talk in between the different teams that we see. We're just going to focus on each group and play it through steadily. Um, I'm going to say the note names this time, and I'm going to also tell you how long I'm holding them. So I'll say G2 if I'm holding for two. Here we go from the beginning. C, G, G, 2, C, F, F, 2, C, G, C, F, C, G, C, 2, G, 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 C, F, 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 C, G, G, C, C, F, 2, 3, 4. Very good. So you should uh, familiarize yourself with each of these teams before trying to play the piece. It's a lot to read the notes 
while you're playing them. That's called sight reading, and we usually try to pick a piece of music that's easier than our current study level in order to sight read it without stopping. So when you practice this, slow it down. Play it this slowly at first. C, G, G, 2. C, F, F, 2. Did you remember to change hands when you saw the C pointing down into the bass staff? This lower staff set is for your left hand. So even though you could play this note with your right hand just as you did at the beginning, make sure you switch to left hand. Then we're back to right hand. C, G, C, F. Next line, C, G, C, hold. So every one of these measures, keep your beat steady, practice this piece until you feel very coordinated and you can say the letters no problem all the way through and you're not um, stopping anywhere or hesitating where it gets more difficult. Excellent. So in lesson six, come on back and we're going to learn more notes in the right hand.